Alan Turing, code breaker castrated for homosexuality, receives royal pardon. Alan Turing, a British code breaker during World War II who was later subjected to chemical castration for homosexual activity, has received a royal pardon nearly 60 years after he committed suicide. Turing was best known for developing the bomb, a code-breaking machine that deciphered messages encoded by German machines. His work is considered by many to have saved thousands of lives and helped change the course of the war. Drive Turing deserves to be remembered and recognized for his fantastic contribution to the war effort and his legacy to science, British Justice Secretary Chris Grayling said in a statement Tuesday. A pardon from the Queen is a fitting tribute to an exceptional man. Turing's castration in 1952, after he was convicted of homosexual activity, which was illegal at the time is a sentence we would now consider unjust and discriminatory and which has now been repealed, Grayling said. Two years after the castration, which Turing chose to avoid a custodial sentence, he ended his life at the age of 41 by eating in a place with cyanide. Supporters have long campaigned for Turing to receive greater recognition for his work and official acknowledgement that his punishment was wrong. An online petition in 2009 that drew tens of thousands of signatures succeeded in getting an apology from then Prime Minister Gordon Brown for Turing's treatment by the justice system in the 1950s. Brown described the Turing sentence as appalling. The German messages that Turing cracked at the British government's code-breaking headquarters in Bletchley Park provided the Allies with crucial information. The German messages were encoded by Enigma machines, which Adolf Hitler's military believed made its communications impenetrable. Turing was considered a mathematical genius, 